Palace of Books by Patricia Polacco is a heartwarming and inspiring children's picture book about how a special librarian and town library made a young girl's life better after she moved to a new state when she was in elementary school. The book is based on Polacco's own childhood, which gives it more meaning. Trisha and her family move to Battle Creek, Michigan, after her grandmother dies. This is where the story takes place. Trisha has a hard time getting used to her new home and school, where she feels alone and out of place. She soon meets Mrs. Creevy, a kind and helpful librarian, who shows her John James Audubon's paintings of birds and tells her to draw her own. Trisha's love for birds and art grows, and she joins the Audubon Bird Club of Fremont Elementary as its first member. Mrs. Creevy also takes Trisha and her class to a nearby bird sanctuary, where Trisha shares with everyone what she knows and how excited she is about birds. By the end of the school year, Trisha has made new friends and is thankful to Mrs. Creevy and the library for the books and art they gave her as gifts. Palace of Books shows how libraries, books, and art can change people's lives and encourage kids to follow their dreams. The pictures by Polacco are colorful and show how the characters feel and what happens in the story. The realistic drawings of Trisha and her family and the brightly colored paintings of birds make the book look even better. The book also shows how important librarians are as teachers and friends who can make a difference in the lives of children by helping them develop their interests and skills. What makes Palace of Books even better is that many people can relate to the story on a personal level. The book is based on Polacco's childhood memories of the Willard Library in Michigan. Many readers who grew up in the area may also have fond memories of the library. The book also talks about how simple childhood was before technology, as well as how people back then didn't know much about disabilities like dyslexia and dysnomia.